All right, it's a tough job, but somebody had to do it. KZI 9 News anchor Bob Shaper went to the Lane County Fair to taste his taste buds, or tempt his taste buds, I should say, and shows us some of the more unusual examples of fair food. They say it's go time at the Lane County Fair, but you could also call it chow time. With 26 food vendors selling hundreds of products, there's no shortage of treats to choose from. I just bought an elephant ear. They're delicious. They're fair food. Corn on the cob. Today, chili dog. <laughs> Most people at the Lane County Fair stick to the basics. You know, the elephant ears, funnel cakes, corn dogs. But for the true connoisseur, you have to dig a little bit deeper. What sort of options are available? A vegetable crepe straight from Paris. Teriyaki chicken. Swedish Fry Joe's, chocolate dip New York style cheesecake, pulled pork with Louisiana hot sauce, ah. deep fried hot dog, zucchini pup, fried zucchini on a stick, and the most unusual treat of all, deep fried cherry Kool-Aid. Jamie Ayle says the Kool-Aid idea came from her mother-in-law, who got it from someone else. She heard about the recipe from someone in California, and she had to bring it to Oregon. Greece is a big player at the fair. Like America relies on crude oil, most vendors rely on cooking oil, a river of flavor that runs up and down food row. You can get fried Twinkies, Oreos, even a whole cheeseburger. If you want something not dipped in saturated fat, go visit the U.S. Marines. They broke into their rations to give me a tasty dessert. With chocolate peanut butter on a cracker, straight from the MREs. With all weekend left to eat, you have plenty of time to try everything. But after a hard day of eating, you may need a nap. At the fair, Bob Shaper, KEZI 9 News.